Hello there, I'm Scott Ewart and in this PC Answers tutorial I'm going to show you how to install a new CPU on your motherboard. Now in the world of CPUs there are two main types. There is an AMD which is usually the, the cheaper solution and then there is Intel, slightly more expensive but some people swear by it. Now depending on what kind of motherboard you have would be what kind of chip you would go for. And um, If you've got an Intel motherboard then you'll have to go for an Intel chip but if you've got an AMD based motherboard you're going to have to go for an AMD chip. Now there are many different socket types but we're going to cover the, the most recent socket types so um, they haven't changed in a, in a short while and it doesn't look like they're going to change very shortly. So first things first we're going to have a look at the AMD chip. Now when, when handling chips you should always try to hold them from the sides and, and, and try not to, um, to touch these prongs here. These prongs basically, if, if they get any dirt or anything on them, they can cause you, you problems. So always touch around the edges and try not to touch these actual prongs here. Now on the chip you may notice that there is a little arrow at one corner. Uh, that's usually on, on all types of chips, AMD and Intel. This is your little marker arrow to tell you where to put the chip and, and it, will, it will only set in one direction. So on your motherboard you need to locate the, uh, the other triangle, the corresponding one and um, when you get your motherboard you may notice that this lever here will be down. You need to lift this lever up first and then you need to find the, the homing triangle and take your chip and line up the two triangles and we're going to just put the chip in where the homing triangle meets the other homing triangle it will only go in one way and it will set itself in so just drop it in like that and uh, now you'll see it's quite sturdy in but don't, don't push it too much because uh, the pins are quite delicate then you pull this lever down and slide it in like that now we need to apply some uh, thermal paste or grease. This one's a bit different from others because it comes with a, a brush for easy application. Just remove the lid, the brush is on the lid and uh, as you can see it's got a bit of uh, thermal paste on the brush. To use it, just dip it in, almost like painting, you can wipe off the excess on the side and you're ready to start with putting this on your CPU. So with our uh, brush we're just going to paint this onto the, the motherboard itself. So just a few strokes just down like this you want a nice thin layer across the whole of the top of the chip the whole area that, that comes into contact with your fan and its heat sink now this, this is important because with, without the thermal paste um, your chip is going to overheat so you just need to apply it evenly um, the reason why we're using this Zalman brand with the brush is the thermal paste application can be extremely annoying. Normally you're using a credit card or, or something that's, that's plastic and, and flat and you normally have to spread it on and uh, it takes two or three tries sometimes because you may get, you know, you may end up with a, a white patch, uh, etc. And when you get a new chip, usually the amount of thermal paste you get or thermal grease is um, extremely limited. Now with this Salmon thing you can do two or three CPUs and because you're hardly wasting any, you're just painting on, you'll, uh, you'll find that you can, you can make it spin out for a very long time on several chips. So there we go, we've applied it to the whole area. You can give it a touch up here and there, just, but it doesn't need to be a you know, work of art. As long as it's covered in, in thermal paste, it's ready for you to apply your um, CPU fan on top. So now we're going to take our CPU fan. Um, now in this case, it's another Zalman product. Um, this is an example of, a, of an ultra quiet fan. Um, and uh, the good thing about this is um, it works for both, um, both chipsets. So if uh, you've got an AMD chip, it'll work for that. Um, but also it will work for the Intel chipsets also. To make it work for that, you'll need to install these uh, little plastic uh, surrounds. Basically, they go around the fixture for the um, Intel one, which we're going to go into shortly. 
about putting a, an Intel fan in. Um, and what it does is it converts it into the um, AMD format. Um, so first of all, we're going to cover putting the AMD um, si uh, fan onto the motherboard. So first of all, you'll need your, your uh, CPU fan, and you'll also need the two connectors which uh, are going to connect up to your, uh, to your motherboard. Uh, the first is a tiny little prong, and the other one is a rather large, long metal bar. This, this metal bar is what goes between the, uh, the, the middle section of your fan when you're setting it on the motherboard. And we're going to place this on top of our CPU. Now, you've got to try and make sure that the, uh, it doesn't matter which direction the CPU is in, but it has to uh, line up with the uh, two prongs at either side. And then you just set it down on top. Now when you set it, try not to move it around too much because uh, you've got thermal paste on your chip. It could scrape it off. But uh, that, that should be decent enough setting. So we need to uh, take our uh, metal prong and we need to slide this through the center of the heat sink through here. And then, as you can see, there's a little catch here, a little plastic catch. You need to push this, this hook part underneath. There we go. And it'll catch on. Now, on the other side, you then take your second piece. You need to slide it down this little hole inside the, uh, the top bit. You need to slide that down so that it pops out the bottom, as you can see. And then you need to push this as hard as you can down. Now you need to put a lot of, of effort into this because it's going to be quite, uh, quite awkward to do. It's literally going to push the, the whole um, prong which goes through the middle down onto the, uh, onto the heat sink, onto the chip. And this is going to hold it very securely. But it, it's going to take a lot of, of pushing. So you need to really push down and then slide it over the top and it will click in place just like that there's no way that's coming off and the heat sink is pushed down onto the the CPU so everything's in place and the fan should work just fine however you do need to uh, power up the CPU fan so using this uh, three prong plug here and it will just slot in somewhere nearby on your motherboard see your manual for more details for where it is um, and as you can see here, it's just down here. So we just take the, uh, the prong and uh, place it over the top. And it's just a matter of sliding it down on top. So now the CPU fan has power and it's nice and secure thanks to the fixture. So that's a AMD chip set and the CPU attached. So uh, we're going to put this to one side now. So it's over here. And now we're going to cover the... Um, Intel motherboard and chip. So first things first, we've got the uh, Intel motherboard. Now with Intel, not all of the motherboards actually have a homing triangle on the actual board area itself. Um, to find out where the chip needs to be set, you look for a missing pin in one of the corners. As you can see, this is the, the arrow. If you look at the other side, there's a pin missing there also. So you need to uh, line up the arrow with the missing pin. So just place this down on top. Once again, being careful not to touch the center. Just set it down gently. Just check it's in. And then close up the top, down onto, onto the hull of the CPU. And then close down this top piece. Down like that. It's a little lever underneath this little, little clip hook here. Now you're ready to apply some thermal paste to this. Then we're going to attach the fan. Okay, so now we've um, added our chip to our Intel motherboard and we covered it in thermal paste. So now it's time to add the uh, fan. So as you can see, this is the, the Intel type connection for, for holding your CPU fan in place. It's got these uh, little uh, triggery prong type things. These go through your motherboard and pop out the other side. Now. What we're going to do is uh, we're just going to set this onto the motherboard and uh, we've got to push down hard onto this so that it goes straight through. You're better off putting your motherboard into your case before you do this as um, it will be set higher so that when you push these through 
these uh, little triggered prongs here will, will slide through the board. So here we go. And what you need to do is you just need to push these little prongs all the way through until they click, like so. And they, they, some of them are quite hard because uh, they're, they're meant to hold everything in, in securely. So give them a real good push, and then when you're ready, you need to twist them in the opposite direction that it says on the actual prong. Um, once you've got all four of these set, you need to take the power connection, which um, is normally on one side. This is a four prong connection, and it just connects in wherever the uh, corresponding power is for the CPU fan. In this case, it's just to the side. So there we go. The CPU fan is now set and it's powered up. So there's the Intel one. And uh, the AMD one that we prepared earlier. And with these two, you can now put in any CPU on any motherboard.